love this. I love this song. Yeah. It's beautiful. It was um, Fly by Jason Upton. Um, this is a song where um, the angels yeah. came in and sang with him on yeah. the recording, and unbeknownst that, to him yeah. and his crew. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a supernatural event, actually. Yeah. 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 An absolutely supernatural event. Yeah. But anyway, we wanted to say hi to everyone. How's it going? God bless you real good today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, G. Hey, what's up, Mama? <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here uh, with you and... Uh, with, with all the peoples. <laughs> with all the fans, yeah. So we want to welcome you all to the, <clears throat> I the live I Choose Me conversation. And of course, <clears throat> I have my awesome partner here. Thank you. Uh, my husband, Gary. Um, Minister Gary Brown. Hey. <laughs> Gary's fine. Gary's fine. Yeah, Gary's fine. Yeah, we are live on Facebook. So, hey, y'all. Uh, video recordings. Hi, everybody on Instagram. Thank yes. you guys so Thank much. Thank you for joining us. For joining us. Mm -hmm. We're super excited about what has been laid upon our hearts to talk about today and we want to thank you all so much for supporting what we do here mm -hmm. and the way you support us of course is by picking up your copy of get up your big fat procrastinator it's an exceptional book and let me tell you we've talked to so many people who um have the book Get Up yeah. Your Big Fat Procrastinator and how it's changed their lives have been impacted yeah, yeah absolutely. and then even mm -hmm. just Mm -hmm. Sometimes having the book on your coffee table or next to you and seeing the words yeah. get up you big fat procrastinator gets people up and going. So if you are in the process of starting projects or getting involved in different uh, events or whatnot and there are things that you want to accomplish, we want to encourage you to pick yes, up the book. Absolutely. And of course, this is an I Choose Me conversation. And so again, you can support us by also you know, picking up the merch, visiting the, the merch website. is very stylish too. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I was at a game the other day, like folks was like, whoa, what, what's up with that? I know you yeah. were decked down with yeah. the hoodie and mm -hmm. the, the joggers. Yeah, the jog, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's very nice. Yeah. That's great message. Exactly. By the way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so when you support us, it gives us an opportunity to be able to get the message across the globe. And we thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And as you're jumping on, we want to encourage you, please send up some, some hearts and some likes and let us know that you're out there and of course uh, share this message with other people especially other people that are looking for hope yes. hope in their marriages hope in their relationships hope in their just everything that they're doing and then of course the I choose me message um, again we believe that this message is getting across the globe and people get so excited when they hear about it yeah. and for those who are new the I Choose Me is about creating a lifestyle of balance for yourself by choosing to be emotionally mentally physically spiritually mm -hmm. and financially healthy first so that you can be of service, service to, to others. I, I love that. I love that. You know, we are we are such um, a reactive society, mm -hmm. uh, where that uh, uh, we react to uh, situations, things that occur in our life, instead of being more proactive. Yeah. And 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 have and have a foundation to where that when things do occur. Uh -huh. You're not caught off guard. As a matter of fact, you're very prepared. The scripture talks a lot about this in terms of be, be, being able to, you know, when you hit a bump in the road, uh -huh. that the bump doesn't impact you at all. That you're able not only to withstand uh, the, the 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 shock or the you know the imbalance uh, that occurs right. during those during those moments, but you're able to just glide right on glide, glide right on just keep it moving so i love yeah. it and that's what i believe get up you big fat procrastinator does it gives you insight into incredible areas of life that when you apply the principles and we're going to talk about this too because the bible says in the book of prior the wisdom is the principal principle thing. thing and that yes. means that basically that when you have a certain way of how you operate you can 
you can literally predict the results, right. the end results of that happening the same way every single yeah, time. So I'm excited about yeah. our subject today. Yeah. And then, like I said, that people are catching on. We're super excited about mm -hmm. it. And last week we had our my dear ex-player, Alex LaPlante here. Oh, yeah. And soon to be Dr. Alex LaPlante. Yeah. And uh, it's just so good to see how young people are catching on, making great decisions early in life mm -hmm. and one of the things she talked about is about living in proximity I love that so much because the idea behind it is is that many times we have these big dreams goals lofty ones mm -hmm. which is fantastic yeah absolutely right? and uh, you can uh, uh, get overwhelmed by yes, them if you're always living in the future right yeah and so absolutely. she talked about honing in on the 24 hours that you have of course you make your goals of course you talk about your dreams of course you talk speak them into plans. existence, yes, absolutely. existence. Mm -hmm. but it's so important to live in the now and to experience the now and absolutely. enjoy the now enjoy, enjoy the 24 absolutely. hours and they just breathe and live in proximity. Yes. and last night was super exciting because we got a chance to sit with our daughter Tabitha and she talked about oh my goodness she was, <laughs> she was talking, talking about a motherhood uh, yeah, and family and it was just was blowing like, our mind because yes. you know both Zachary and Tabitha they love the idea of marriage they love the idea about raising a family and it just makes us think that we must have did something right <laughs> through the grace of God <laughs> thank you Lord <laughs> exactly because it's not our doing yes right, thank right? you Lord yes and I believe that it's really important because uh, uh, having a, a, a family that has a great foundation and when you have a solid foundation as a family, it is the key to success it's for our nation. It's sustainable. Absolutely. It's sustainable. Right? Absolutely. It's and sustainable. Then when a family doesn't have a solid foundation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they don't have parameters for living in a place and family goals and ideologies that don't align with what the with our creator has set in place for us, then that's when chaos occurs. Yeah, let me speak to that real quick. Okay, because it, okay. because the thing of it is, like listen. We all have our own opinion, and we're going to touch base on this a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I, I want to kind of plug this in real, real quick, right? So don't get, don't get mad or don't get frustrated with the messenger, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> what, 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 we're saying, about <laughs> what we're saying here mm -hmm. is has, there is an, 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 an author, there is an right. originator right. who established this foundation, which we're going to be talking about today, right. is right. marriage. Right. And the thing that we're going to share with you today comes directly from the author right. who established the foundation, right. who, who sets the parameters and how this uh, thing called marriage should operate, should right. function, and doing it his way yeah. oh, is oh, it's so exciting, and we can't wait to kind of get into a lot of that because it's it's where it's at. And uh, doing this for 30 years, I mean, I could do it 30 more years. Really? Yeah, with baby. Me? I love it with you, baby. <laughs> I can do this. It is so exciting, and we can't wait to just share all this with you. Um, and uh, by by all means, marriages. I love with you. I know you're going to talk about it, but it's about two imperfect people coming right. together. Right, right, right. You know, and there are some people out there that are really killing it in the mm, game. Yeah, you know, in the marriage game. You know, what yeah. I'm talking about. And we p applaud you. Yes, we're so excited about what you're doing and what you and your family are doing together and the decisions that you guys have made together. Mm -hmm. And then there's some people out there faking it. <laughs> Yeah, faking it till you're making it. Yeah, faking it out in public. But what ends up happening is that the kids get an opportunity to see what happens behind closed doors, and then that messes up their head a little yeah. bit. And then it creates even, a level of confusion. Yeah, mm -hmm. it creates confusion, and then it also messes with the the parental and the son and daughter type relationship, especially when they get older. And so it's and, and it affects their future, right? So uh, as I mentioned earlier, that I like the idea that you know people like Alex you know watching her family and people like uh, Tabitha and Zachary watching their mom and dad make decisions and the things are not always beautiful mm -hmm, things absolutely. are not always you know lovely and whatever you know what I mean but you get a chance to see how our behavior behind closed doors is the same thing that's 
outside as well. And so, and that helps them and it encourages them. Absolutely. Tish, you know, in, um, and I, I call it Tish because that's my, well, that's my because name. that's my girl, right? <laughs> um, so in meditation about what we're going to talk about today, um, you know, I believe Spirit of the Lord uh, spoke to me in terms of marriage is the most attacked Yes, the family and marriage yeah. area of life. Yes, that you could that you can imagine, right? Yes. And marriage is attacked on multiple fronts, right? And we're gonna talk about because there's a way that we think about it in a way that seems good to us, but the the Bible lets us know that you said it early that marriage is the key. Marriage is the foundation by which why which God has established, and when we do this thing his way right because there's i i mean there's things that as related to identity mm -hmm. uh christ because all that as, as we get into defining what, what the word of god says about it you'll see that the multiple areas that we're facing today uh it's the same thing that that the folks were facing two thousand years ago right. during jesus day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. and and jesus had to address right those areas because he'll go on to say like you know you know you heard back in the old, the old day during when Moses had to establish the law because based, based on people's hearts, right? He had to establish, you know, uh, uh, to get uh, what he believed was society uh, uh, defined marriage as. Right. But Jesus, when, when Jesus came on the scene, he said, listen, that was not the original intent of God. I like when you said that the words original intent. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that's really helped us in our relationship. Yeah. And in our decisions that we make with our family, with each other, is that what is God's original intent regarding that? Mm -hmm. And then we can't try to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. I mean, you can. You know, try yeah. to figure it out yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. but why not go to the one who created you, yeah. right? The manufacturer of all things, right? And so one thing that we want to make sure that you guys understand and that we are communicating mm -hmm. to you is that this is this conversation is about marriage, yes, right? Yes. And so does it, does that mean that people who are not uh, married to another human being, that there's something wrong with that? Absolutely that not. They don't, you know, they're not critical in making the world uh, successful. No, that's not what we're saying. We're just saying at this particular uh, conversation happens to be about marriage, people who are contemplating marriage, people who are uh, individuals who like the idea of marriage mm -hmm, in the future, mm -hmm. and even for those people who are thinking about divorce, yeah. that we hope that we say something that is comforting to you. Mm -hmm. And the title of this message, you guys saw it earlier, is marriage natural wow wow <laughs> is marriage natural wow. and uh and then as you said that the marriage uh relationship is being attacked like nobody's business yeah. and you have to ask the question is it's like why is it being attacked and when i brought the subject up to you i'm you know like uh get, we're gonna talk about marriage this week you know and thank you so much for being there and mm -hmm. being the uh, the man of the home and protecting our home and keeping us balanced um, as it relates to family and whatnot, and just everything. Thank you so much. Well, but I brought you. it to you and I asked the question, you know, is marriage natural? And you had a resounding, a resounding, resounding mm -hmm. answer to that. And your answer was... Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's, there's, there is, there is. So if you want to look at it from a perspective of, yeah, so there's two individuals coming together. Yeah, right. natural. That's physical, right? right? Going through the ceremony or the rituals of marriage. Yeah, that's natural. But when it comes to the institution, the established biblical institution of marriage, we don't have enough time. There's not enough time allotted in this uh, one session yeah, to talk we're, about. We're gonna, but just, I will highlight. Yeah, I, 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 I highlight. Marriage is a spiritual uh, um, 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 institution that God has established, and 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 there's so many things that is that is uh, first, second tier as it relates to marriage because God understood by establishing marriage. He established the foundation and the principle of how the world should operate. Because marriage is inwoven 
It's woven in every area yeah. of society. Every fabric, yeah. Every fabric of society. Yeah. When you talk about marriage at home, mm -hmm. you talk about marriage uh, uh, as a, as you're going out into society. You talk about marriage if you if That's you right. impact your home, you impact your school, your society. You impact your society, you impact your government. Right. If you impact your government, you impact your your the, the, the states, the, nation, the, 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 states country, the country, the world. The world. So marriage is woven in every fiber of our society. And I like, uh, based on the question, is marriage natural? And you said absolutely not, that it is supernatural. It is supernatural. And super meaning above. So super uh, natural is above what is natural. The yes, natural yes, yes, of marriage. Yes. And I like what Benjamin Franklin said. Uh, he was quoted as saying, marriage is the most natural state of man. And that was tons of years ago, right? And then nowadays, uh, and, and then he says, and the state in which you will find solid happiness. Mm -hmm. And then other people like uh, anthropologist Claude Levi-Strauss, he said that marriage is anything but natural. Mm -hmm. But it is a cultural phenomenon. In fact, the most cultural uh, phenomenon. Oh, I love right? that. I, I, I love well, that. And, and, and so, I love that. But, you know, it, um, the, it's just interesting that there's uh, people have varying ideas about what marriage is. And then as teachers, <laughs> we want to also define what, you know, marriage is yeah. based on our, our uh, definition of it. Um, and, and I said the sanctity of marriage is the legal covenant of two mm -hmm. imperfect, not polyamorous, or what do you, whatever it's called when they have so many different wives and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that called? I can't even think of it, but it'll come to me. But anyway, two imperfect people mm -hmm. joining together in a holy covenant before God and who have made an exclusive agreement to commit themselves to each other in love, even when conflicts arise. Wow. God has a perfect plan for your marriage when you do it his way. Oh and of my. course, oh, it's, it's, it's you know, <laughs> I know this is good. Okay. okay. And then we know that this is not the world's definition of marriage, but it's the uh, definition of the sanctity of marriage. Or another word is the blessedness of marriage, Absolutely. right? And we all want to bless marriage, right? For all of us want to be blessed in our marriage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well. So that's our definition. And we believe that it's steep in God's idea of, um, of marriage according to what his word is. And as we talk about the supernaturalness of marriage, we can only, like we said, go to the foundation first and which we believe that the foundation is found in the scriptures. Absolutely, I, 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 man. There's so I much, know, so, so much, much to uh, uh, unpack here. But uh, let's talk about what you had stated early on about the sanctity of marriage, mm -hmm. right? And 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 the actual covenant of it, yeah. right? Now, the reason why God has established such this. I love what uh, the gentleman said earlier. Phenomenon that, in, that that placed this phenomenon called marriage in the in the natural realms that two imperfect people. That's the key. Imperfect people. None so of us are perfect. so 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 we know God knew early on that bringing two imperfect people together that that could create some confusion <laughs> that exactly. could create some mess that could yeah. create some what we call misalignment right yes, yes, and yes. so god established where that listen even though you're two imperfect people the way that i have established this according to how it's laid out in terms of principles no matter if you hit a hit a bump in the road which you will. that which you life. will is yeah. just part yeah, of part life of bringing two imperfect people together but he's god's word has established principles by which if we experience something that does not align god's word can bring it bring, bring us back right. into that to that holy that sanctity of that covenant right. because of bringing two imperfect 
people together. Right. It is so powerful, and I cannot wait till we get into the some of the biblical truths as it relates to some of the things God established for um, for us as uh, individuals in marriage. Well, we know that in the book of Genesis, um, and again for us, and hopefully for you to that mm -hmm. um, that you would understand that for us we're always. Uh, making our decisions based on what the word of God says. Yes. And then sometimes we don't. Because, you, because, know, you make mistakes. Because the but, word but of God is not? proven. Yeah, it is proven. Right. It's established. Right. The Bible says that it is settled. Once God has said it, it becomes established and it becomes, and it is settled. Right. So no matter what the outside of the world is doing, God has established the universe to align with his word. Yes. So if I align with God's word, no matter what going on, it yeah. can be raining on the outside, but it is on sunny the, on the and inside because mm -hmm. and it is settled because I know what the outcome of that is going to be. Exactly. And that's beautiful. And in Genesis 2 and 24, it says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast or you be united to his wife mm -hmm. and that they should become one flesh and this is God that is original God intent, intent for I, 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 I love that it's saying being united right mm -hmm. they're no longer as operating as individuals in terms of the covenant but when God sees you and God sees me he don't see us he sees me Right. Meaning that there is one person, meaning right. that you and I are one, one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in essence, right? And so everything that I do as a husband, everything you do it, as a wife, it impacts each right. other because God see us as, one as a united front. Yes, Amen. that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And it's his original intent. Mm -hmm. And even in like real live situations, you know, we've been married for 30 years. Yes. And we've seen some ups and downs, some bruises, Absolutely. and some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time as mm -hmm. well. But even in the midst of um, us making decisions, sometimes we have to, a lot of times we have to check ourselves. You know what I mean? A lot of issues can be uh, handled if you have the other person in mind. Absolutely. If you remember the covenant. Absolutely. If you remember that you are one flesh. Because a lot of times we make decisions and we forget that, hey, that there's somebody, you know, that I'm one with mm -hmm. this person. And uh, and then we kind of go solo yes, out there. Yes, yes, And yes, when yes, you're yes. out there solo and you're constantly solo, you're no longer the one flesh. Yes. And therefore, the sanctity or uh, the blessedness of the marriage is divided and therefore you have issues. Yes, 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 yes. Isn't yes. that good? Yes, because that becomes an impeded affection, right? So mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so if I have uh impeded affections, that means that the one that I'm that I'm united with no longer is my objective focus. Right. Uh I have other things that now becomes competing against my affection towards my mate and therefore um is a person can become misaligned right. in their thought process right. misaligned in in their vision and their focus because i can tell you ladies men we, we we're visual creatures right and if we don't keep our eyes focused on those things right. concerning of our mate right and we lose sight of that. Right. It becomes when we step out the door, no matter what we do, uh, it could be our jobs. It could be anything yeah. can become this impeding, impeding affection and no it longer gets, am mm -hmm. I focused on the real, making the real, keeping them the main thing, the main thing. Keeping the main thing, the main mm -hmm. thing. I love that. And then another scripture, Jesus reiterated the same scripture. He says, but at the beginning, and this is in Mark 10, he says, but at the beginning, of creation, God made them male and female. Now, who said that? The, so Jesus. Jesus. Jesus and is the, reiterating from the beginning. From the beginning that the creation, beginning of creation, that God made Watch male this now. and female. The culture that we're living in today, right, 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 do not believe what what 
Jesus just said because right. in order for me to reestablish a new covenant or a new definition, I must veer from that which was originally opposite, established. Right? This is no different than when, like I said, in Jesus' day, when Jesus met with the Pharisees, mm -hmm. Jesus told them like this, you made a law uh -huh. that made it easy for a man to, to put away his wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? And Jesus reestablishing that, saying, listen, from the beginning, mm -hmm. right, this was already established, so we're not living, the culture we're living in today is no different from the time when yeah. Jesus Christ had to confront the, 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 the local establishment, if you will, uh -huh. who uh, created these laws and bylaws to say what really constitutes marriage. Right. But Jesus, thank God that he, he doubled down on what God has said in the beginning. Right. And then, so, uh, for this reason, as he mentioned, that a man will leave his mother and his father and be united to his wife. Mm -hmm. And the two will become one flesh. So, it was communicated in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jesus came back and he reiterated it. And this is something that I want for us women. So, there's a lot that's going on in society that is uh, where conversations, where people are trying to take away womanhood, like mm -hmm. the trueness of womanhood. And so, as a matter of fact, they're saying things like women, not, they don't even call them women anymore, they talk about people who menstruate. And I'm like, you guys, you, y'all are, we're really losing it, right? And so, it's one of the reasons why we say we want to stick with the foundation. Yes. If you're go a back woman, to the go from the beginning, the, the, yes, you know, that there is... Uh, the, being a woman is precious. Yeah. Being a woman is beautiful. With There is no human being. Now listen to this carefully. Mm -hmm. There is no human being that is on this earth without a woman bringing her forth, him forth. Got it? Absolutely. Everybody on this earth has to come through a woman. Period. Through a womb. Absolutely. Got it? And... Um, so we can't disregard the womanness of who God created when He said He created male and female. Oh, you, you, you have a role as a male, so much here. and then as women, right. we have roles as well. For those of us yes. who are struggling with identities and whatnot, that in the beginning God created this whole thing. Male this female. whole thing, really, when you, when you, when you want to get down to it, this whole thing is about God. And the enemy, the God, the enemy wants to redefine right. and re redefine. redefine the original intent in which God has established. Because right. I'm gonna tell you, I, it's, it's when you get down to when we talk about God's way. Um, let me just 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 provide just just um, just some insight. And I won't I won't take too long with this. Okay. When we say doing it God's way, what we're saying is that everything. As it relates to marriage, God has put his stamp of approval on. Right. Everything as it relates to marriage, doing it God's way, God not only put his stamp of approval, God puts his authority behind it. Yes. So therefore, when we do it God's way, when the world tries to attack right. something that God has established, God has settled, yes. then, then we can go to God. And God will back up his word. Yes. And God will back up his established order because we say, God, we're doing it, we're doing your, it your way. way. We're doing it your oh, way. I love that because it's, well, it's when, so good when, when you're I get, able to do it God's way. Yes. Because I always say, what do you, you know, I feel bad for people who don't have a relationship with God or they don't believe in him. And I go, like, when you're in trouble, who do you pray to? Yes. You know, um, and so when you are, have that relationship with him, it's wonderful to be ha to be able to have God on your side yeah. and backing what you're doing based on his word. Yeah, let's get to the and scripture because the scripture is going to talk end, more about these. What God has joined together, let no one separate. That's the enemy that we're talking about. And then in Hebrews 13 and 4, let marriage be held in honor among all. And let the marriage bed be undefiled. Praise the for Lord. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Yes. This is, this is, this is, you, you're talking about 
uh, uh, um, uh, taking something from its natural state and 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 creating uh, this this alternative more. I use that term this this alternative gesture to marriage. Right. And what we will find out, right, in this next scripture that we're getting ready to highlight, when we create alternatives outside of what God God had originally intended, it creates an unexpected result right, right which can create chaos confusion mm -hmm. uh, 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 a lack of honesty right. um, those I'm, I'm, I'm using soft words here because because I, I, I want to be able to uh, 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 really uh, share with our audience the impact when we decide to do things outside, outside yeah. of God's original intent. That's why the society is working extremely hard yes. and over time to redefine what right. is considered female and what That's is considered female. male. Exactly. Because when you can redefine yes. God's creation, then you can establish your own law as it relates to the, the institution of marriage. Ah, that's exactly right. And then there's a way that appears to be right, but the end, but in the end it leads to death, according to Proverbs 14 and 12. So there's a lot of things that we think may be right or appears to be right. Yes. But in the end, it's destruction. It's it's, it's it it uh, and 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 this is where I really want us to get it at because everything and what we're uh, uh, hoping that we're articulating here by doing it God's way, it leads to life. It yes. leads to prosperity. It leads to joy. It leads to uh, a level of peace, even in the midst of a storm. Right. Right. Because now I can go to God. And bring that situation to God, right. and knowing because I'm doing it His way, God will back he me will back in up. that situation. So and, and I, I, like, I love that. And I like what First Peter four and eight says. It says, "Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins." Uh, <laughs> oh my Lord, God <laughs> no, boy. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> That was a certain early part in my in, in my life that I didn't understand what the covenant of marriage meant. Mm -hmm. And trust me when I say uh, this woman uh, had to cover this brother <laughs> in in prayer mm -hmm. because at one point in time in our early part of our marriage, um, I had my own way that I thought what was right about yeah. marriage. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. until I begin to 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 learn and to grow and and to truly understand. Uh, uh, understand what marriage meant from God's perspective. perspective yeah. I have been loving this woman. Matter of fact, today I'm more in love with this woman, Yay, even from me. the time <laughs> that. And I'm gonna tell you, baby. Can I say one thing here with me and I? I and oh, and I'm gonna share a quick testimony. Early part in in our marriage. Can you believe it? I literally, early on in our marriage, early, years, years, years ago, probably first, the first, the year. first year in our marriage, mm -hmm. um, I got to a point where that, I looked at this woman in her eyes, and now first I told her mother, mm -hmm. watch this now, I told her mother that I don't love your daughter mm -hmm. anymore. Now what... How is it that I stood before a congregation of folks, I stood before God and man, and made this covenant with this woman, and 12 months down the line, I said to her and her mother at the time, bless her mother, that I don't love this woman no more. I can tell you right now, Number one, that I went through the motions of marriage and not understood what the covenant of marriage was all about. Yeah. Number one. Number two is because I was so young, 
and, and, and in terms of young, what I what I meaning by that, I had other things going on in my right, life right, right, right. that was appealing against my marriage, job, uh, other things, <laughs> friends, you name it, uh, stuff, 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 stuff. right? <laughs> and and when when God, <laughs> thank God, boy, when I finally was approached and really began to seek this thing out. Why? What happened to me to sort of fall out of love when I know that this person was right for me? I right. knew this person was right for me or I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stepped into that right. step that coming. I know the person that I was with. I know the person that I married. Right. I love this person. She was just everything. What happened? Uh, um, and what happened to all of it? I can tell you is because of the lack of understanding and a pity infection that drew me far from the original ten of God and the right. purpose for which I was standing for. And what I did, guys, from that moment on, once I began to understand more about marriage and start doing things God's way, I made a covenant to God years ago. And I've been doing this 29 years ever since. And I tell you, it, it has impacted my life to the point that uh, I don't know no other way of doing it but God's way. Uh -huh. Every day, I made a commitment to God. I said, God, I will tell the woman that you've given me, the woman that I've married, the woman that's a future mother of my children, I will tell her every day that I love her. Uh -huh. It's not a day that goes by at 29 years later 30 years later, that I tell this woman that I love her every single day. Mm -hmm. And that has transformed my heart, that has transformed my mind, and how I see God in our entire family, how I raise my family, yeah. how, I, how I treat my wife, how I treat my children. It has tremendously changed my life as it relates to marriage so baby i apologize i know i probably take more time that, that was not in our notes that was not in something but i but felt i, I, I felt the need to share that with our audience because people go through it's not all time but sometimes we, we we make marriage sound like it's just so far off that no one is is untainable uh, that 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 you gotta live by these rules and regulations. Right, right. No, that is not what marriage. Marriage, if you really want to know it in nature, it's about learning each learning other. Learning the other person. It's about you know uh, 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 getting to be intimate with that person, knowing what their likes, their dislikes, and the things that that will draw us closer together, that will even make us more unified. Amen. And more of a sanctity as it relates to the institution of marriage. And then so. we said that it's a, an exclusive uh, com, uh, commitment that we make mm -hmm, to each other and mm -hmm. a decision. And then um, I really appreciate you sharing mm -hmm. the story. And I do want to, you know, just reiterate that, um, that the decision to say I love you was a conscious decision. It was a conscious decision. And, and every day it's a conscious decision mm -hmm, to say mm -hmm. I love you. And don't get us wrong. There are days where you know we've come to blows. Yeah, not absolutely. Physical, but and then the I disagree. The, I, the disagree. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the I love you may not come out then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, over all these years. But in a nutshell, it is you know a touch or what have you to say I, I you know I love you. And then another day. and another way mm -hmm. that you do it is by saying you know uh, my wife. Yeah. And that cracks people up. It's like. You know, when he said Tish earlier, it's kind of funny because it's usually my life. But anyway, back to you. Back to you. Back to you all. Back to you all. Well, uh, another point that we want to make, or the second point we want to make, uh, we talked to you all about the scriptures, and we hope that you understand and receive the foundation, the baseline of what marriage is about, including a definition of it, and then also the scriptures behind it. Um, back in it but then we want to also make this point quickly and that is the importance of praying for each other mm -hmm. uh, and praying for your partner is extremely important and when we was when we were first saved when we first gave our life to the Lord 
to you know like mm-hmm. together. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that we new, used to do, new, new believers, new believers, new, yeah. we used to pray together. Mm-hmm. I mean, like get on your knees on the side of the bed, pray together before we go to sleep. Pray together, read the scriptures to each other, read the scriptures as we fall asleep together. We did all of that. And then, and so we want to encourage you all as well, especially if you're new in your relationships, to take the time to pray for each other, to read the word of God with each other, uh, to speak life into your mate or your potential. Oh, mate, that is so powerful. Uh, because they, they, they need it. They need it. Absolutely. And so now we don't spend uh, the, t- like we say that at three o'clock that we're going to pray, but we are constantly praying for each other yes. and we still touch in agreement before we came on we prayed for you all uh, we prayed for each other we're constantly praying and touching and agreeing uh, in agreement with mm-hmm. each other mm-hmm. and then uh, my husband Gary he spends you know like specific time uh, on his knees in conversation with the father and then praying for the family mm-hmm. as well yes. and so that's so encouraging men you know to have um, a, a, a person women a, a man that is there praying for the family it's yes and if it's just a single mother and you are there with yeah. your children uh, by all means right so we actually the, the the principle here is uh, um, um, having someone that is going before the Father and praying on behalf of the family. Because listen, every day that we step outside the doors mm-hmm. of our homes, immediately we are bombarded with so many different things. You turn on the radio in your car, you get to your office, or you go out and you do this or you do that. There's so many things that are competing uh, for your time, for your, time yes, your mind, yes. your 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 Thoughts, your your, your core value yeah, of, of exactly. life, uh-huh. and so by covering your family uh, has a level of authority and and, and comfort that uh, that I believe uh, that keeps the family whole and united. Yes, and then Gary just asked me recently, he said, Letitia, are you praying for mm-hmm. me? And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm praying for you. And what it does, ladies, uh, when we're praying for our husbands, they want to know that we're praying for them. Why? Because it comforts them. Why? Because it empowers them. Mm-hmm. And why? Because they like to know that we have their backs in prayer. So we want to encourage you yes. that one of the reasons that we're able to maintain a, a good marriage also is because we pray for one another Mm -hmm. and you can pray when they're asleep you can pray when they're awake Uh, you you know can stop if something's going on you can stop right where you are and you can pray at that time if they have a concern you all can pray together about it you know right then and then any answers any questions that you have to whatever subject it can be found in prayer absolutely can and then uh, the last uh, point that we want to make is understanding and honoring your partner's love language all of us are beautiful and different and being different is magical yes right it's wonderful it's what attracted us yes. in the first place right, right because me and you came from you know two completely different uh, backgrounds but then we also found that we were so much more connected mm, than what we yes. thought but there are things that I cannot do and I'm not good at that you're absolutely wonderful you're wonderful in just about everything so oh, thank kudos, you, baby. kudos to you baby, <laughs> thank you, baby. but you too, when uh, the, the good thing is that uh, understanding each other's love language and uh, being uh, okay with loving on the next person enough to love them according to their love language, yes. right? And so we know that yours is touch and so on and so forth. But one of the things that you have done is made sure that I understand what makes you feel good, what makes you happy. You are not lost on communicating what it is that you and that's want the key. Out of that that is the key, men. Do not listen. Here's where a lot of us go wrong, right? We just automatically in, interpret that 
your mate supposed to know what you want. Right. Right. That somehow or another magically uh, uh, they're going to all of a sudden be able to read or, or, or to just know what you want. Right. And it's, the key to resolve all of that is communication. Right. Right. Tell your mate. Talk to your mate. Explain to your mate exactly what you're looking for. What makes you feel like a king. And your wife, as being united with you, will take those things and will begin to pray, even if it's something that's outside of what that person may not be comfortable doing because if you have a person that is not like my wife said, I'm very sensitive in terms of touch, right? Some people don't like to be touched, right? Some people, some women don't like all that touching, right? So, 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 so you have to come into an alignment and agreement about these things and in prayer and God, and if we trust in God, God will give your mate the heart Right. To, to satisfy those, to love you, though, in, to your love you yeah. in your love language. That's absolutely exactly right. And it's one of the most selfless acts. Yes, absolutely. Do, yeah. right? And then we want to encourage you mm -hmm. because our time is wound down already. We heard about this couple that was saying that it's not our responsibility in the marriage relationship to make the other person happy. And, I, you know, we beg to differ. And so, yeah, you're responsible for choosing yourself and making sure that you're healthy in those areas. But who wants to be in a relationship where your spouse does not make you happy? And when you are not happy in your relationship, that's when you uh, have the tendencies to step out and do other things. And who could possibly be happy having, you know, the marriage bed defiled, right? Yeah. You, that can't make you happy. You'll yeah. never find happiness happiness that way. Or or else it's not just the bed it's about the time it's you know where that <laughs> where that perhaps maybe uh you know one of the partners decide what they want to spend their time doing something else. i want to go hang out with the boys instead of oh, being yeah. you know or it's it's, it it's, it's those hungry. various different things right right right, right. Mm -hmm. and so we just want to encourage you that um, that in the midst of everything that you can find happiness with your spouse you guys take the time to love on each other understand each other's love language go on your dates God, we gotta talk um, about this more we, yeah it is so much it, here it's so much to unpack it's so much fact, unpacked I feel here. like you know we almost have to do a little series on it and so um, next week I have another guest coming in and you know it, 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 I believe that we're here to help you and we want to you know hurry you into the, the bookstore and go pick up your book get up your big fat procrastinator because we talk about marriage in there as well and so uh, beloved we want to encourage you to yes. choose yourself first why so that you can serve your spouse well <laughs> Yeah. And then, and I'll close it out with Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Ah. That says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. Mm -hmm. And if either one of them falls down, one can help the other one. Absolutely. Out. I like that. I love right? that. I love that and as well. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Mm -hmm. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep each other warm. Yes. But how can you keep somebody warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves in a court of three strands. It's not quickly broken. And basically what we're saying for those of you who are married, contemplating marriage, who are thinking about divorce, who are interested in marriage, that two together is a great, great, great the, benefit. The greatest, and the greatest un, unit that has God has ever put together. It's, it's, that's why he put it. It's the first chapter, not necessarily conversation because God had to create the, the world, but shortly thereafter, the creation of man and then after right. that, the sanctity of, of that unit. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so again, we love you all so much. We want to encourage you to share this message with other people. Uh, give us the thumbs up. Give us the heart. And I think we're going to come back and we'll have some a, a type of series regarding marriage because our desire is to help yeah. uh, help people 
that are in marriage situations and then of course the next generation we were thinking about at one time yeah. putting putting uh we call it marriage for real because oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> we, we were thinking yeah. about putting yeah. marriage for real because we know good, good memory, we Dave. we know <laughs> right 30 years of this track record and i pray 30 more years of it is we we know that things happen right and how do you deal with it? Children, finances, just various things in, in marriage that could that could throw a person off. And uh, how, how do you get through those challenging times uh, in marriage? So. And lastly, lastly, we want to pray for the Jones family. Yes. Um, um, praying for uh, Tangela, TJ, and Amber, and all of their friends and family. Family members, uh, yes. The Keep them in your prayer. Of their uh, dear husband and father, uh, uh, Mr. Tony Jones, who uh, was a track star and also um, he was a track coach, a fireman. Giving so much he back. He was a man that was a giving, true giver. Yeah, and giving so a lot back. And so our hearts were, it, hearts are broken at the, his passing a couple of days ago. And then also for the people who lost their lives at um, the Astroworld Festival, we're praying for your families as well. And um, much love to everyone. Um, support what we're doing by going and get your signed copy of Get Up Your Big Fat Procrastinator. We'll get that right out to you. Tell other people about what we're doing. There's a whole bunch of mess that's going yeah. on out if there. If this is helping you, I encourage you to go out and, and tell somebody, tell about, somebody it. about it. Because we're going to come back. Yes, and it's. Circle back. It's about being able to make an investment. And basically what this is, God has given us uh, something for you that we know that that is tremendously will change your life and bless your life. And uh, uh, we want to obey God in that. And uh, and we want you to uh, receive and to be blessed by it. God bless you all. God bless good. you. Take care now. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye Bye. Love you guys. Bye.